Okay, so each of these equations, our goal is to put parentheses into the expression that makes it true. In other words, to make it balanced so that the left side and the right side are equal. So in the first one, my goal is to get the number 5. And what I did to get that, I put parentheses here and here because I saw the plus 2. And I guess my algorithm at this, at this moment is not very... Um, logical. I feel like I'm just guessing uh, with some direction. My direction here was I wanted to add 3 plus 2 to get 5. So I, I looked at these numbers and said, how could I get 3? I noticed that 6 minus 5 is 1, and that's useful because 1 times 5 minus 2, which is 3, is 3. And 3 plus 2 is 5. So that was my strategy for that one. And the next one, uh, our goal is to get 11. So what did I do here? Well, eventually I put parentheses here and here. And my algorithm this time was that I saw that I was adding 7 in the end. So I thought, what could I add to 7 to make 11? Well, it's 4. So how could I use these numbers to make 4? So 12 divided by 4 comes first. That's 3. Plus 10 is 13. And minus 9 is 4. So this, this right here does make 4. And then plus 7 is 11. And the next one I'm, I'm feeling pretty stumped on, part C. I'm not sure if there's a mistake here, but I, I just can't seem to get it. Because, for example, here, let's say I want to use a similar algorithm of taking 6 away to make 30. How can I make 36 from these numbers? I don't see a way of doing that. And a big issue here is that I start at 22. And then I take something away, and eventually I get to 30. There's only one way to, two ways to do that. If I start at 22... I have to sub subtract some negative from that, like negative 8, and that would give me 30. Or I could take some combination of a negative times a negative oops, to make a positive. And I can't, sorry, this computer's running slow right now, a negative times a negative is a positive, and I can't seem to make that happen. So this one I look forward to maybe a student solution there to see how to, so if we can solve this. I'm, I'm feeling stumped. And the last one, this one I found to be difficult also, but eventually what I realized was that we need to get negative 8. So um, how do I get from 12 to negative 8? That was my outlook here. And I know that 12 um, plus, right, plus negative 20 or 12 minus 20 gives me negative 8. So I looked at these numbers and said, how could I get um, 20 or negative 20 from these? And, and what I did was to say, okay, 8 minus 4 is 4, and 4 times 5 is 20. So to make sure that I do that, I'm just going to add in these parentheses here. And I don't really need the second set of parentheses, just the first, because 8 minus 4 is 4, and then multiplication will come first. But I like to emphasize with the extra parentheses to make sure I get the correct order of operations. So hopefully in another video we'll come back to this one, part C. But right now I'm going to put a question mark there because I do feel stumped. I can't um, find a way of inserting parentheses to make that true.